Hello from Hanoi, Vietnam. It's time to find out what $100 can get you in this amazing city. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Welcome to Vietnam. I love you, everybody. <laughs> Oh my god, this is good. Now we are heading for dessert at one of the most real poppy shops that you'll ever go to. I'll give you a hint, it's made with eggs. It's different. We're walking on Li Nam De Street, which is where we live. Wait, is this where I would pull on my motorbike every time? Yeah, it was right here. Is it the same girl? I miss you! This is the best bowl of fun. Once you eat this bowl, it's hard to eat any other one. It's best. Oh, I love it here. Who is ready for a budget challenge in one of my all-time favorite countries in the world? I must admit that this video is very special because A, Hanoi is where I first started making YouTube videos back in 2017. B, it's where Deanna and I first lived at the start of our relationship. And especially C, because it's one of the cheapest countries on earth. Don't believe me? Well, I've upped the stakes from a $10 video and now we're gonna see how much 100 US dollars can get in one day in Hanoi, Vietnam. $100 is 2.3 million Vietnamese dong. It's time to hit the streets of Hanoi and see what we can get. Oh my God, is it nice to be back here? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel? Amazing, it feels so surreal. It's like time just stood still when we're here. Yeah. One of my favorite things about Hanoi is that all of the streets are named after the products that are sold there. It's a very unique thing that only exists in Hanoi. This is the tin street. All the shops here are selling tin or metal things. This is the glasses street. Every shop is glasses, look. The competition is fierce when all of your neighbors are selling the exact same thing. Look at the small little chairs. Look at this. I love like the organized chaos. Just so amazing to be walking around these streets right now with Deanna. It's been almost three years since I've been in Asia. Which is crazy because I lived here for seven years before that with Deanna. Get to buco. Nothing tastes better than a fresh coconut on the street because Vietnam is a tropical country and they are so cheap. Mm. Oh my god, this is good. It's a sweet one, not a sour one. Sometimes they come a sour, perfectly sweet. In Arizona, it would be like seven bucks for this. And in can. And in a can. Welcome to the best banh mi in the world. It's called banh mi pho ko. It's a little hole in the wall. We've been here like a hundred times and it looks the exact same. A banh mi sandwich is a short, crispy baguette filled with savory ingredients like grilled pork, pickled vegetables, cilantro, and sauce. It is so good. Oh my okay. god. You take the first bite. Mm. How's that crunch? Mm, One to ten. Never changed. The same? Mm. Wow, the bread. Crunchy, flaky bread. Oh wow. There's so much going on in here, how do you even comprehend? Egg, liver, cucumber, onions, cilantro, sauce, meat, spices, flavoring. Thank you. Come on. Babe, one to ten, how good was that? Oh my god, I can't <laughs> die happy. We were not even talking while we were eating. Zero. We finished that like... How many seconds? <laughs> Now we are heading for dessert at one of the most surreal coffee shops that you will ever go to. I'll give you a hint, it's made with eggs. Two egg coffee. Egg coffee is a Vietnamese invention since 1946. It's made of egg yolks, sugar, condensed milk, and coffee. The secret recipe to deliciousness. All right, so this is egg coffee. Look at this, it's like custardy. Mm. Mm. They basically just put eggs in a blender. Look how creamy it is. It's like a coffee egg milkshake. Oh, you don't need sugar, it's so sweet already. Totally different than any coffee you would have around the world. They do it good in Vietnam. It's different. Thank you. You know, we've only spent 10 bucks so far on everything <laughs> total. Really? Yeah, it's hard to spend money here if you try. $10? Yeah, coconut, lunch, oh. and coffee, 10 bucks total. Can you believe that? We have $90 left to spend. The streets here are so narrow and there's nowhere to walk on the sidewalk. So you must walk in the street. And that's Hanoi for you. In Hanoi, these old men with these green war hats on drive you around in a little tricycle. Okay. We're gonna take one now. How much, how much? 150. Okay. okay. Philippines. Oh, number one. Yeah, number one. Yeah. 
Right in front of us is the beautiful French-inspired Catholic Church of Hanoi. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Keep it. Ah, keep keep it. it. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Behind me is a church built by the French when they colonized Vietnam in 1886. It is a replica of the Notre Dame Church in Paris. It's a meeting place here in Hanoi. It's where everything happens. They still have mass there every day. And it's so iconic and so beautiful. And when I come back here, I get all the feels, all the nostalgia. Oh, I love it here. Now it's time to spit some seeds in front of the church. Oh, okay. Three. Three. Two, uh, seats and tea. And tea. Thank you. Oh my god. Piece of Vietnam. They have this sweet lemon tea. So they just sit here all day, spit seeds, and people watch. This is our spot. We came here all the time. The seeds that they have here are saltless. They have no salt. We like salt. They're just seeds, nothing else. Something that you'll notice all around Vietnam is that the chairs are tiny. Look at this. Here's, I have small hands and there's my hand. The chair is like no more than a foot tall. And Vietnamese people are so short, so they can easily sit on these tiny chairs. So good to sit here and people watch. And one thing that is so obvious about Vietnam is that they're all hustlers. People, they don't sit around and beg. Have you seen one beggar yet? Zero. Not yet. Nobody begs for money. They, they they hustle. Even the old ladies and old men, they're working. They're Even in the most storage spot? Yeah. The, the women are selling stuff over their shoulder or they're breaking down boxes and selling them. And the men are riding tricycles or they're hard working people. And that's really admirable about Vietnam. Almost more so than anywhere else in the world. You see how hard working they are. It's really cool. I agree. It's, I think in the Southeast Asian region, they're the most hard working Yeah. People. It's really amazing. Thank you. Well, it's only my first day here in Hanoi and my first day on this Asia trip and I already have food poisoning. I've had to find bathrooms like three times today. Thought I would let you guys know. It's always a, a thing I'm open about, food poisoning and yeah, it is what it is. Just, I'm still gonna enjoy the food. It's just uh, gotta find toilets every hour. We're walking on Li Nam De Street on the outskirts of Hanoi, which is where we lived. We're trying to find our apartment. Wait, is this where I would pull yeah. on my motorbike every time? Yeah, it was right here. Yeah. Remember? And, and there's, a, there's a, a nail salon over here. I think we did facial over there. Yep, this is it for sure. Look, are we parking here? This is the building. We lived right up here. My first video ever was what can $10 get in Hanoi? And I did my intro right here, riding my motorbike. I'm Drabinsky and I'm gonna show you what $10 can get you in Hanoi. Well, when we lived here, Deanna bought me a camera and said, you should start making videos. And I did, and then I started posting videos. And here we are five years later. <laughs> a lot has changed since we were living right here. There's a little nail salon. This looks exactly the same. Oh, wow. Do you remember her? Is this the same girl? Yes, I was on my camera. How are you? Yeah, you're beautiful, oh my God. I miss you. It's so beautiful down here, it's changed. <laughs> Did she bring you that? Yeah. What is it? Cucumber and worms. She brought <laughs> cucumber with pear and, it, and it's dipped in salt, which is actually mixed with worms. And you put it on the cucumber, mm -hmm. you're good. And she's getting her nails done. So cute, she's sitting on the floor. Is this her house? It's probably her yeah. house. Mm -hmm. It's so cute in here. It's about being a good husband when you're getting your nails done, sleeping in the side. This is what jet lag and food poisoning does to you. Causes you to lay down and sleep. Oh, in the nail salon. I barely fit on this table. No, keep it. Thank you so much. Keep it. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Come on. Come on. Come on. See you soon. This is where we would walk every day. Time for a little massage. Good night, Dave. Enjoy. Massage is so incredibly relaxing. Best thing to do in Vietnam. Thank you. <laughs> That's for you. Yeah. Keep it. Thank you. It has been an incredible day so far in Hanoi. And it's not over yet. We are heading to our favorite pho place. If you don't know what pho is, well, you probably do. But you're in for a real treat. This place is the best. The menu has only three things. 
Dein Name? Ja. There's a lot going on in the kitchen back here. That boiling pot of broth has been boiling all day. And it is like an assembly line over here, getting things done. There you go. This is the best bowl of pho in Vietnam that we have found. For the first bite in five years. Mm. Oh man. Not only is this the best bowl of pho, this is the best bowl of soup that I've ever had in my life. Hey, you gotta put vinegar in it, a little splash. A couple of peppers, make it spicy. Beef broth with rice noodles, cilantro, onions. Once you eat this bowl, it's hard to eat any other ones. That broth is unstoppable. If you guys like pho and you come to Vietnam in Hanoi, you have to eat at Dia Truyen. It's the best. All right, just checking into our hotel here that I got on booking.com. And for 40 bucks a night, it's not bad. You know, you got your standard shower right here. Over here, you got the bathroom. You got a TV, you got a bed, which Dan is chilling. And the best part is this outside. Look at the sky. Oh yeah, that is just perfect. If you look down at the street, boom. Yeah, you don't need to stay in fancy hotels every time, you know, like, of course I like to sleep in nice places if I can, but this is very nice. It has hot water, fast Wi-Fi, good service, free breakfast, and that's all you need to enjoy in Hanoi and anywhere. Welcome to the weekend night market of Hanoi. They block all the streets here, pedestrian only, and they sell everything. Amazing. As you can see at nighttime, the streets are alive. Well, look at this, this is awesome. This is Beer Street in Hanoi. Oh my God, this is crazy. Cheers. How is it? Deanna never drinks beer, but it's okay. Special occasion, the local stuff, it's always the best. Cheers, cheers. cheers. In total, we got two coconuts, two banh mi sandwiches, two egg coffees, a tuk-tuk ride, two iced teas and sunflower seeds, one manicure, one pedicure, two massages, two bowls of pho, a wonderful hotel room, and two local beers for $90.31. Now that is cheap. And that is what $100 can get you in Hanoi. I had a blast making this video. I hope you enjoyed too. And I'll see you next time. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels. And also I'm giving away a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys. Stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.